Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we're in York, Pennsylvania, and today we visit another state fair. We visit the York State Fair. Now, it's complicated here, so, so, so please, <laughs> please listen. Um, this is the York State Fair in Pennsylvania. It's not called the Pennsylvania State Fair because uh, the York Fair actually dates all the way back to 1765. This here, the fair we are currently at, is the first ever state fair here in the United States of America. This, the first fair was held 11 years before the United States was even a country. So, I definitely wanted to check this out as part of my state fair tour. Now, you ask why it's called the York State Fair, not the Pennsylvania State Fair. There is, okay, so when it comes to state fairs, there is an event that the state of Pennsylvania recognizes as the official state fair. Unfortunately, it is really not what you would call a state fair in the, the sense that, uh, that we know it. It doesn't really fit into the spirit of what the state fair has become. They have the Pennsylvania Farm Show every year in January. The state recognizes that as the state fair. But as it, again, it is in January, there's no midway, there's no fair foods, it is a purely an agricultural exhibition. So, and it's not even called the state fair, <laughs> so you got that. So, uh, different places in Pennsylvania, they have state fairs, and uh, the York State Fair, I think just in 2018, they declared themselves to be a state fair. And, um, it actually in the past had declared themselves an interstate fair, so a, stair, a fair for multiple states here in York, Pennsylvania. It's still, this is a, a major fair, a major outing. So you know what? I'm gonna count this as the Pennsylvania State Fair on my tally. Now when I was at the Ohio State Fair the other day, I made a mistake. I said it was the 12th yeah. fair that I had been to. It was only the 11th, so this here today is the 12th State Fair. I'm going to throw up a graphic right now so you guys can kind of get a look at which fairs I've been to, which fairs I still need to attend, but I think it's fair enough that we check Pennsylvania off the list and we will experience the York State Fair today. So please follow me. And this is no surprise, but as we show up here today, it is blisteringly hot here uh, in the open area, the concrete, the sun. This is just, this summer has been unrelenting. Look at this here, the spud stud, this uh, French fry, uh, French fry stand. But look at their mascot. He is a muscular man with a beard and swim trunks, and he appears to be made entirely out of potato. Oh, that is, that's, that, the spud stud. That is a, that is a mascot right there. Of course, a great way to start out any day at the fair. We have the pig races. This is hot dog pig races. This is a different pig racing company than we saw the other day in Ohio. Here they go. The tiny little six week old pigs. Hey there. Oh, look how tiny they are. All right, this is a interesting twist on the pig race. We have racing wiener dogs dressed like hot dogs. Uh-oh, what happened here? Oh, oh, these two are getting aggressive. Oh, you're trying to block the other one from going. I know it's hot out here. Let's go. Oh, you won't let, you won't let the other pass. Oh, this guy's, this guy's lapping everyone. All right, here they come. Oh. All right, now the now the wiener dogs have to do the obstacle course here. At least that one did. 
The others are just kind of hanging. Okay, there we go. There he goes. I have this giant inflatable cow out here in front of the Agricultural Education Center. And look here, we have the rabbits in this building. You can enjoy the rabbits in the nice air-conditioned uh, building here. Hey, rabbits. Now, sadly, we're not going to be joined by any birds this year because of the avian flu. The don't need no birdemic in here. But uh, yeah, to uh, to replace the missing birds, we do have these uh, replica birds in their way. There's the Homer pigeon. Doll. Oh, look at that turkey there. The good thing about these, you know, replicas is they don't create as much. Uh, they don't create create as much bird waste. It's a silky chicken. Even have a mock uh, chick hatchery there. You can see, you know, that normally the chicks would be hatching out of the eggs, but uh, here's a little replica chicks that have just been born. Welcome, welcome to planet Earth, little guys. We have Miss Pearl, the pig there, and it looks like she just had a little litter of piglets. You can see the uh, sleepy piglets there. Hey, Miss Pearl. I love your little baby piglets. Oh, look at the sleepy pigs. Sleepy little pigs. Over here we have Bunny World. Have a little uh, enclosure there. And it's full of extra fluffy bunnies. Oh, look at the, look at the little critters over there. Extra fluffy bunnies. See some of the different competitions in here. You have sewing. There is uh, tie dye. And over here is entomology. You have some bug collections. Oh, look at that! Someone found a giant mega megalo megaloptera. Mega megaloptera. Megaloptera. Yeah, look at all these cool bug collections. Oh, here's the champion butterfly collection there. Over here at the York County Sheriff's Office, and look at here, we got, what's your name, dig, Digger Dog? Oh, you're your Digger, awesome. Can I, get a, can I get a high five, Digger? Oh, thank you, keep, keep up the good work. Yes. Awesome. It says, would you make a great dairy farmer? Probably not, I'm not really good at physical labor. I don't like getting up early, and I really hate being around cow crap. Over here we have a milkable, milkable cow. All right, let's get, let's get under here. See if we can, see if I remember how to do this. Just squeeze, don't pull. Oh, don't pull, don't pull. You just gotta squeeze. Don't pull, the cow probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't like that. That would be painful. I'm sorry. So yeah, the, the lesson we've learned today is, we squeeze, we don't, we don't pull on the cow's nipples. Hey, are you guys here? Are you guys alpacas or llamas? Okay, okay. It says here you are you are alpaca. This is Brutus. Brutus the alpaca right here. Oh, 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 be careful. He's out of control. Over in this section of the building, we have Still Meadow Crossing, which is a modular train group. Looks like we have some model trains over here. Oh, we have a bank. Over here, it looks like Batman and Robin and some Batman villains out in front. Something's going down there in front of the bank. Oh, and here comes, here comes the train. Looks like we got some trucks and tractors there on the train. And look over here, we got a roller coaster. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think that might, that might be the steel curtain from uh, Kennywood. And over here, the circus is in town. You can see it's Cole Brothers Circus, the elephants out front. Doing a little bit of a pre show circus parade. I like the sound effects. Not sure oh, and look that. what we have over here a butter sculpture. Apparently, I missed, somehow, I missed the butter sculpture at the Ohio. State Fair, but look at this, this massive sculpture here of a boy and his cow. 
Some other farm animals there, a little piglet. We got turkey over here. It's refrigerated, so it's like fogging up. So look at the other side here, yeah. Love the butter sculptures. That is a magnificent sculpture there. It's like a full size, like this is all like life size, like a life size calf, a life size boy, life size animals down here. Here we have a personality and handwriting analysis machine. Look at all those, look at all those flashing buttons and and uh, and lights. I guess uh, right here for three dollars, you can have your handwriting analyzed. Let's let's give this a try. A page printout just like this tells your personality. Oh, okay, so it gives you a, a printout telling you what your personality is. Yeah, let's try this. My name here. <clears throat> And I am in Scorpio. All right, gets fed into the machine there. The start and out. Oh, okay. It goes printing out my personality there. Oh, wow. All right, so let's see what my handwriting says about my personality. It says, you dislike rules unless you make them yourself. Um, I mean, I follow the rules. You know, sometimes, sometimes the rules irk me, but, but, I, but I always try to FTR, follow the rules. By nature, you are sensitive, generous, and sentimental. You surmount obstacles easily and bounce back. Well, that's not true. I fall to pieces whenever there's an obstacle. <laughs> You're interested and therefore attracted to the opposite sex. That, yeah. Do not dwell on the things over which you have not control. That's more of advice. Uh, you are stubborn, but open to others' point of view. Maybe. You have a shrewd mind and are imaginative. Eh. You're satisfied with all areas of your life. Most most areas. I'd say that's a it's a it's a fairly fair uh, statement. Uh, sometimes you tend to be overconfident. Probably not. I'm pretty pretty low on the confidence scale. You know how to make people welcome and feel they're important to you. I mean, I try. Uh, whenever possible, you always return a favor. I mean, I do, yeah, if someone does something for me, I do like to uh, hopefully uh, hopefully give back to that person. So yeah, very interesting here. This uh, this magic machine, I don't know how the machine works, but uh, al analyzed my handwriting and, and printed out all this information. There's also some, some bonus weird facts and uh, that talks about uh, my horoscope there at the bottom. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Shopping building is. I think I'm lost. I, I think it's. Uh, I think you're headed in the right direction. Okay, perfect. Yeah, my boss said he's gonna give me a raise. He gave me a unicycle. I mean, I don't. Yeah, you, you gotta be careful carrying all those boxes on a unicycle. You yeah. might might what? end up dropping them. I'm with UPS, Unicycle Postal Service. Unicycle Postal Service. Yeah, that makes UPS. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I got fidget spinners and clip-on man buns and stuff. Clip-on man buns? Yeah, they're popular out here. Really? Yeah. Clip-on man buns are popular in Pennsylvania? Yeah, my boss said he's gonna give me a raise. He gave me a unicycle! Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and I tell you, five years of no social life has really paid off. <laughs> well, that's good. You, well, guys, you have fun today. Enjoy the fair. Oh, yeah, you too. Hopefully those packages reach their uh, destination. Oh, my goodness. We're at the Rhinestone Ropers Wild West celebration here. Doing some lasso tricks. Oh, look at that. Those are some pretty sweet lasso moves. Oh, he's gonna put the, gonna put the target in his mouth. Oh, there you go. Knocking pieces of it off. Yes, <laughs> amount of whipping there. So I'm gonna throw the knife, cut the string, then shoot the balloons as they fall. Oh, there you go. What's he gonna do? Oh. oh yeah, you're a good fellow, you're a good fellow. <laughs> I wasn't, really? rolling hard enough to get him close to this. 
Then one day I rode too hard. Guess what happened then? I ended up capsizing my own horse. An exercise machine. It's just, I never see anything like this. With all leather interior. <laughs> Wait right there, my friend. You're doing super. Wait right there. Let me grab my... <laughs> Completely upside down. Legs in the air. Right here for you. At the York State Fair. It's like, it's like horse yoga almost. <laughs> Spinning there on the circle. I think he's gonna throw some knives at her. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right here. Oh, she's shooting, shooting balloons out of the air while spinning on a wheel. That's crazy. We have the basement waterproofing specialist with their mascot here, Miss Molly Moldspore. This is Yucky Basement. Great. My friends and I will be right over to play. Sounds like fun. Molly, Miss Molly Moldspore, what a great mascot. But look what they have over here. Baby goat snuggling. So you can pay $5 to snuggle with baby goats. All right, so in here. Oh, don't escape there, little one. All right, so we can just, we can just snuggle with, with all these goats. Hey goats. Hey goats, you guys like snuggling? You, you like snuggling, don't you? Eh, not sure what you think about snuggling. Okay, which one of you goats likes to snuggle? There we go. Oh, right here. Oh, I like this one in here. Oh, look at this one. You got little, got little tiny horn. Snuggly goats. Snuggly goats. This is my new best friend here. This one's name tag says Bubbles. Hey there, Bubbles. Hey, tiny Bubbles, the tiny goat. So this is queso right here. And you're telling me these are all your goats, right? Yeah, we have 137 goats. 137 goats? And you have, so you have a YouTube channel. I do, Stymet's Family Farm YouTube channel. We got uh, the story of the farm, the story of hope, the story of a bunch of goats and different animals. Awesome, I'll definitely check it out. Okay, so, so apparently I can, get a, I can get a goat on my back. Right. right so so you, gotta get on you just get, no, no, just touch your toes, stand up. <laughs> yeah, just touch your toes, yep. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna put queso on your back. Okay. Now Queso's gonna stand there. All right. <laughs> All right. And here is the king of the mountain right oh, here. What's Queso doing? Uh, he's looking around like, uh, <laughs> can I chew your hat? Well, I feel he's, scratching a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, <laughs> how is it down here? Oh, it's, 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 it's strange sensation. I mean, <laughs> goat on your back. You ever heard of goat yoga? I have. So that's basically you do, you do yoga and then goats just crawl all over you? Yeah, pretty similar to this. Oh, he's gonna lie down for a second. Yeah, take a nap. Yeah, he's gonna take a okay. nap on your back. Oh, now, so uh, whenever you feel uh, like you're running out of steam, <laughs> I don't know how long you can hold this pose for. Let's go. Oh, 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 and he went down. A leap of faith there. Yeah, good job, Queso. Bringing some snacks for the uh, for the goats. Let's see if uh, see if goats like snacks. Wake up from your slumber. Uh oh. Here they go. Oh, here they go. Here they go. These goats are. These goats are. Oh, these goats are ready for some snacks. Come on. Snacks. Oh my god. Oh, watch out. It's a high octane goat fight currently happening. Oh, oh, an absolute fight for supremacy as they ram their heads together. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, these high impact headbutts. Which goat, which goat will submit? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, there they go. Oh, oh, the level of intensity ratcheting up. Oh, okay. Looks like they sort of just just kind of just kind of forgot about it there for a second. There they go, pressing. They seem, very, they seem somewhat uncommitted to this fight, honestly. Yeah, like they're just kind of like getting bored with fighting and stop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. And then she'll have to put like her banking. Oh, it's ramming heads together. And this is Kitty Kingdom over here. This is the Children's Midway. We have the Meltdown PlayStation here. This is kind of the original PlayStation uh, before the Sony PlayStation was invented. 
have a monkey maze here. They actually had a monkey maze at the Ohio State Fair as well. It's a uh, mirror maze there on the bottom. Crawl up to the top where there's a series of funhouse mirrors and then slide down. I did a lot of slides the other day. <laughs> and it's interesting, this is kind of the same attraction, but the mural is different. Actually, the mural's very similar. It has a lot of the same elements in the same spots. I remember there was a barrel of monkeys right there. There was a flying pig right there. There was a, a, a Tarzan right there on the other one, but it's actually a completely different art style. So they must have kind of a framework that they work in before they paint the uh, mural there. And of course that is uh, Donkey Kong right there from the Nintendo game. I think this might be uh, another one of the characters from Donkey Kong Country there. And then got Kermit, Kermit the Frog singing in the pond. Got a lion drinking fountain here. I've seen a lion drinking fountain the last two days. This one actually has the whole drinking fountain mechanism though removed from its gullet. Hey. I've never seen this ride before. It's the Jolly Roger. It's some sort of pirate train. See, it's in like the shape of a pirate ship. Look at this. Look at this pirate here on the back. Look at the, the 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 flags waving. That's pretty hilarious. It's actually actually spraying the riders with water over there. They got a, a water fountain, which probably in this weather actually feels rather nice. See that mermaid rotating in the middle. Oh, this, this is this is pretty amazing. I, I do love uh, do love this ride. I'm gonna peek over here into Horticulture Hall. See the uh, cornucopia there on the door. So we got a gnome here carved out of cheese. Mm -hmm. A little frog right there. Is he like cheddar or something? They're both cheddar. Actually. Both cheddar. So this is white cheddar and this is orange cheddar, and the only difference is a little bit of flavoring called a natto, which actually isn't a flavoring, just flavoring. But they all came out of these 40-pound uh, blocks, which are about 42, 43 pounds. Awesome. So you just have to imagine whatever you want uh, carved in it and take away whatever is in uh, oh. working for your design. <laughs> Looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. There's the York it's State Fair fun. logo. You know, you're gonna eat cheese anyway. You might as well have a little fun with it. <laughs> Tell everybody you get a few clay, clay carving tools and make sure everything's clean and have a good time. Got some uh, cheese scrapings there from the carving. These were carved off of the gnome, so. Oh yeah, that's some good cheddar there. You know, when you're carving out of clay, you can't just eat the scrapings from the clay. So that's the advantage of cheese carving. Yeah, you don't, you can't eat clay. You might be able to eat clay, but I think it would make you very constipated. Different competitions here for the best corn. We have broom making. The different baking competitions here. We have the decorated cake, the uh, fair themed cake there. The best feed samples there. And the best hay competition. See the produce there. Carrots, potatoes, cabbage, broccoli. Oh, what are these? These are beets. Oh yeah, that's right, beets. They grow beets in uh, Pennsylvania, like uh, Dwight from The Office. See the Beekeepers Association here. Some actual live bees. See the fine quilts over here. Of course, here at the Carpet Bagger Channel, we are huge fans of quilts, quilting, and the art that goes into the construction of said quilts. Here we have a little historical section on the York Fair. 
and it has it's had different names over the years. It was originally called the uh, the York Fair. Apparently, it was called the Ye Grand Old York Fair at one point, and uh, it was called the York York Interstate Fair. So multiple multiple states with one fair. I guess they welcomed other states to come to their fairgrounds, but now they've settled on York State Fair. Down here we have this room full of taxidermy. See an elk head back in there. It says, take a selfie. I guess this is a selfie opportunity brought to you by the Pennsylvania Lottery. Look at me, I played the Pennsylvania Lottery and I won all these ribbons. The Lego competition here, these different Lego sculptures. Looks like the winner was this Lego Starry Night. There's a vintage video game display here. It's uh, in television right there. It's a Telstar Arcade, it's got a control panel, a steering wheel, and a gun, so you can drive and shoot at the same time. And this is Action Max, I've not heard of this one. Looks like it actually runs off of VHS tapes. Yeah, I remember these little uh, these little mini arcade machines here. Those were, those, were, those were really cool back in the 80s. You know what, I, th I think they're still pretty awesome. Of course, important to stay hydrated today out here in the heat with the official York State Fair spring water. Another traveling carousel here. It does seem like the traveling carousels do primarily have horses. I've not seen a lot of other animals on the uh, traveling carousels. This spinning dinosaur ride. See the dinosaur heads on the outside as the Dinosaurs prance around the volcano on the inside. And look who's here at the York State Fair. The Flying Walindas, the world famous Flying Walindas, the famous family of acrobats. Oh, very excited to actually see the Walindas. Oh, who's this? A clown doing a ballerina act there. They're walking up on the tightrope there. There. Oh, look at that, all four of them on there at the same time. Oh, one foot. The Melinda, salute you! Riding his bicycle there across the tightrope. Oh, wow, oh, 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 there we go. Oh, look at that. Standing on his shoulders while he's standing on the wire. Oh, that's amazing. Santillo's sausage is here. I do like this little wood carved wiener man. That massive swing there in front of the uh, grandstand building. All right, it's time to check out the uh, main midway here. And there it is, the dreaded zipper. <laughs> Rode the zipper one year at the uh, Florida State Fair. And you know what, once is enough. I think once in a lifetime riding the zipper is probably enough. I saw it on a list, listed as the uh, the most intense flat ride of all time. And it, it's crazy, you're in like these little coffins, you're spinning while the whole thing goes. It is a very, very nauseating, very intense experience. You a Thunderbolt, kind of like a uh, Matterhorn Music Express type ride with those insane swings flying above head. Now this is interesting. It's uh, straight shows providing the amusement attractions. It says it's the only carnival traveling by train. So I guess they transport their shows by train, uh, unlike the other uh, other amusement companies that transport by truck. Got the pirate here, the bright yellow. 
pirate ship there. Look at the top there, there's a rather horrifying looking pirate head overlooking the midway. Now I saw two very similar dark rides to this at the Ohio State Fair. They were both called the Haunted House. This one's called the Haunted Mansion. And did a little bit of research. This style of carnival uh, dark ride made by a company called Owen Trailers. They also make a lot of the fun houses you see at, uh, at the fairs. So uh, yeah, they sell these, they're, I guess they're customizable, but they sell them with the, uh, with the murals, the facades painted on them. I don't know, look, maybe one day I can own my own uh, dark ride, but turns out these cost about as much as my actual house that I live in. Let's check out the murals here on the uh, haunted mansion. It's like some uh, zombies coming up from the grave. It's terrifying, this one there's also some ghosts flying behind her head. Another very ghoulish creature here at the front door of the Haunted Mansion. But yeah, let's uh, let's go for a ride in this mansion of haunts. All right, and our chariot awaits. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, we have the electric chair again. This is a skeleton in the electric chair. We have to do electric chairs at the Ohio Fair as well. We travel through the dark here. So I'm gonna pop here. All right. I'll see the glowing red light of this horrifying beast right here. So I'm gonna jump. Okay. Oh, there we go. I think that was, think that was Jason Voorhees that jumped out at me there. Oh, someone laughing there, a laughing clown, some super spooky skeletons, and uh, here we go, back out to reality. Oh, jeez. There we go. Whoop. The pig-headed woman right there. And here is the Cuckoo House. It's like a German-themed fun house here. We got uh, a woman singing in the window. Get these polka players right here. Although it looks like there's someone dumping raw sewage on the head of the polka players. We have the Meister Burger up there, eating a sausage, drinking a beer. A uh, woman here serving very large glasses of beer. And you look, she's actually dribbling the beer on the ground where it's being licked up by the three stooges and a goat. All right, heading inside here, past the uh, beer barrels, see the silhouettes of all these people having a great time, eating some sausage. Watch the feet there. Okay, very treacherous path to be had here. to ski but your skis move on their own. Alright. We got the up and down up and down walkway. Here there we go. Alright. That's not so bad. Okay, you can't trust your own feet in here. See that? You step on this side, it goes to that side. What does this do? Oh that's the other way. Or these slidey, slidey feet things. What do you call these? What would be a good word to refer to this uh, obstacle here? Leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, look at these silhouettes. So that's like King Tut and Sasquatch, I think. Some wild dogs eating uh, eating meat. And then there's a T-Rex drinking a beer. Look at the barrel is not uh, currently operational. No headstands. Now I do like to ride a few of the wilder rides usually when I'm at the fair, but um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have kind of a 
I've been dealing with a little bit of a little bit of an upset stomach the last couple days. I'm fine. I'll be all right. But uh, I, the thought of getting on a big twirling carnival ride is probably not in the cards today. Back here we have the livestock arena. Says there's a birthing area. It's where animals are giving birth. Let's head into this building. Hopefully it's air conditioned. The official York State Fair souvenirs here. First you got your normal stuff like t-shirts. But they also sell these little vehicles here, these little trucks with the uh, York Fair logos on them. Got these semis here bringing, uh, bringing the fair into town. Look at that, the, the racing pigs there. It's the world's fastest pigs. And then here's the 1993 edition. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. They have all the animals in here in a nice air-conditioned setting. It's an interesting contraption here. Got the mama pig in there. I guess set up so that the uh, the babies can nurse. Oh, look at that. The babies, they're fighting each other for some reason. Yeah, it says these piglets were born on the 23rd. So these little tiny piglets are only five days old. They're already, they're already fighting each other. These little baby goats here were born yesterday. Some pregnant cows here. It says this uh, this mom here is due tomorrow. So I guess she may be, uh, I guess she could be having that calf anytime now. And here's the grand champion, meat rabbits. All these sheep are wearing jackets. Because they've, uh, I guess, because they've been recently sheared. Oh, but look at this! Look at this sheep here. He's wearing a, he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. That's this is the this is the coolest sheep in the building. Hey, Hawaiian sheep! It's the Pennsylvania Equine Council. You've got some uh, horse bones here on the table. Hey there, buddy. Horse here. So we can give him a little pat. That'll do, horse. That'll do. This horse here is a judge. Hey horse, quit judging me. Of course it is the summer of carousels here on the Carpetbagger channel. See they have a traveling two-story carousel here. The very rare two-story carousel. You can see they're kind of different. They have almost like these springs on the bottom of the horses. Also some uh, really cool chariots there as well. Of course, when you're faced with a two-story carousel, I almost feel compelled to head up the stairs to the second story. See what kind of horses are hiding up here on the balcony. Find us a steed over here. And off we go here riding a carousel high above the York State Fair. Yeah, you can look down below us, see the carousel horses, their poles going all the way up there as they bounce up and down. Yeah, they got like a spring or a hinge on the bottom. The pole just kind of pulls them up and down. You have all the carousels I've rode this summer. I think this is the first, is this the first two-story carousel? I'm wondering, I think I wrote, might have rode a two-story carousel that didn't have a second story. I think this is the first time I've rode on the top story of a two-story carousel this summer. I also have these like teacups here that you can sit and spin in. All right, so trying to locate a little bit of a state fair snack here. Looks like they have some food in here under the bleachers. Since we're here in Pennsylvania, I think we'll go with some local flavor and get ourselves a whoopie pie. They have uh, whoopie pies of all different flavors here. Pina colada. Cookies and cream snickerdoodle there. 
Okay, I got myself a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Whoopie Pie. I think that's Michelangelo there. Of course, I can't get enough of this uh, State Fair water here. Get that, get that open. Whoopie pie. Yeah, it's just pure frosting there. Pure cake frosting. It's very sweet. Whoopie pie. They're always a delicious treat here in Pennsylvania. It's a booth from. Uh... Mr. Ed's Elephant Museum in here, of course, the Elephant Museum, also a candy shop. They're selling some candy here, and it looks like they're also selling uh, Mr. Ed's famous hoagies. And look at this, we have a booth from Field of Screams, one of my favorite haunts here in uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, look at that! The scarecrow just, the scarecrow just popped out. See that? It's also got some smoke coming out of the, the roof of the, uh, of the shack here. Ah, there's the scarecrow. Oh, and how you ghouls doing? <laughs> hey, buddy. Good to see you guys again. <laughs> yeah, they have like the best, uh, the best hayride probably of all time here at uh, Field of Screams. Oh, there we go. Performing goat there. The dog on a scooter. Beautiful. Oh, look, it's a pig pushing a baby carriage with a dog in it. Oh, llama jumped through a hula hoop. So, thank you for joining me here today at the York State Fair. The, uh, the clouds just rolled in. It actually sounded like it was gonna rain there for a moment, but the sun has been covered up and finally it's, it's a, the temperature has dropped a few degrees and it is very, feels very, very nice. So uh, thank you guys so much for, for watching this video. I continue, we got uh, 12 state fairs down now. We continue traveling, continue seeking out state fairs to visit. Keep a, uh, we'll keep a running tab from now on. I, so that so yeah, this is number 12. We got 12 states down. What does that leave? Uh, 40 or 30, 38 to go. So yeah, not too bad. We're, we're starting to make uh, make a dent out of things. I uh, got some got some plans to try to attend some more state fairs before the end of the year. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I uh, travel around the country. I film roadside attractions amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, we get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Oh, that's severe. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. Just have a plan. Okay, they're telling us to telling us to get inside. So I'm gonna go find some safety. I'm gonna go find my car. Uh, again, if you'd like to contribute, Patreon, $3 or more, get your postcard once a month from me to you. Enamel pins in the Etsy shop, personalized messages from Cameo. All that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. I'm gonna go try to uh, get out of this incoming thunderstorm. And this one, is in the bag. Oh,